we support our fishermen and women. And so we have no difficulty with these types of investments. But Madam Speaker, we must highlight the pathological borrowing, the obsessive borrowing that is taking place by this government. And we must underline that this exposes the dishonesty in this government's report of a robust GDP growth. If the economy was doing so well, why can't the government make this investment with all of the surplus that they should have based on the reports that we get from the Honorable Prime Minister? While we may be talking of another loan to borrow, I want to make it clear that this plan here that was being done here for these for the $7 million was a carefully planned out studies that has yielded results now and now we need to implement. And I say this because when we're talking about our artisanal fisher folks, especially the, those that the leader of the position, the honorable member of MESOP mentioned, directly up north, Sartaneha in particular, the traditional artisanal fisher folks that we must recognize. In fact, for your information, there are about, if our figures are right, there are about at least about 80 or so traditional fisher folks that continue to fish in that same manner and are the only recognized in Central America. So this much needed funds will go there to enhance to this much needed area that they need to go to teaching sustainably, to grow sustainably. Well, this administration is almost at a billion dollars worth of loans in two and a half years, going on three now. They've borrowed nine, what's the figure there, my friend? $912 million. So we have to be concerned about this. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, I will say, however, that I think the cause of this loan in particular from the Inter-American Development Bank is for generally a good cause and I join the government in, in that work to, to save our marine uh, industry. I am truly glad for, I mean my colleagues will get angry at me Madam Speaker, but um, I'm truly glad for the leader of the opposition's comment on this loan because I will take this back to my people and tell them the support you are getting was opposed by the leader of the opposition. So whenever he goes there and wants to campaign, the people will already know he does not support. The point of order. To hear the point of order, member, please. Thank you. What's the point of order? Madam Speaker, he's misstating what I have said. I said that I support the point of order. One second. What's the point of order? What's the point of order? Elucidation. Ask the member if he will yield. Are you yielding so that the me for, so that the leader of opposition can lose today? Madam Speaker, he already made himself so quite clear. No, I'm not. Okay, continue, please. <laughs> and please, um, ask it to stop the interrupt. Now, we all know the charade of the interruption, no? Yes, Madam Speaker. All right, that's one of the beauty of, of this when you have to expose yourself. All right, this is the beneficial. This is a beneficial bill for the fishermen. There is a phrase that goes out there where uh, there's a phrase that said, we do not inherit the earth, we are borrowing it from our children. We are doing this, Madam Speaker, in other words, that future generations of fishermen can continue